This is the Derma VCO1 cordless vacuum. I'm gonna grab it, it's just plugged in. Um, but actually, why don't I show you how I have it plugged in here? So it's a very, very simple um, system. It actually uses that same cord that like the new um, Apple computers use, which I love. So you just plug it into the wall, easy peasy. And what's great about this vacuum is that it's super sleek. So I can keep it, I had it plugged in in this room just because I was gonna do this live stream. Um, but I typically keep it in my closet with brooms, dust pans. It even comes with a great little like um, clampy thing that you can put on, on the wall and it just hangs right up. Um, so let's see this in action, no? Okay, so. When, after what you want to do when you get it, and it arrives in like kind of a small box. Um, I mean, it's long and skinny and it only holds the vacuum, but still predominantly cardboard, everything recyclable. I try to keep things and um, only buy things that come with sustainable packaging um, or recyclable packaging, kind of same, same. Um, so that was good. And um, after once I got it, I read the instructions and I gave it a full charge, which I think is very important with any electronic. You want to make sure that you get one good full whole charge in in order to train that device to charge well moving forward. Maybe this is a superstition of mine, but someone did tell it to me once. Anyway, I live by that. So after the full charge, we power it on. You push it like a little longer at first and then it will start sucking. It's so satisfying. My boyfriend called it the Tesla vacuums. And um, then if you need a little more suction, you just lightly press it one more time. And you can kind of hear that it like increases in volume. And this is great, you know, if you have a carpeted area or if you just have like a, a big dust corner or something maybe you want a little more suction but I typically keep it on the lowest setting um so then to turn it off it's just one more tap or I didn't do it long enough but yeah it's basically just one more tap but I'd tap too quickly so one tap one long tap on one short tap up power and then another basically short tap to turn it off super simple and it's so light I mean, can you do this with your mom's Dyson? I don't think so. I just feel like it's the perfect vacuum for someone that lives in an apartment like me. And in LA, the dust is relentless. No matter how many times, because we used to have, um, you know, one of those vacuums that's on the floor. And it's, that's great, but like, you need a, a proper tool in order to get into the corners. So speaking of corners, this is what I want to show you. This part of the vacuum actually comes right off. Super easy. Then it has an attachment piece, which I left right over there. One second. And the attachment piece just slips right on. Again, is it busy? And this is great for like, getting little corners or getting under the bed or getting in that annoying crack between the stove and the countertop or the fridge and the countertop drives me crazy. But in this um, studio room that we have here, I'm constantly getting dust on um, like the little mold bottom molding on our walls. And so I'll show you here. Um, can I reverse the camera? So, pardon my wall in advance. Okay. Oh, what did I do? Hey, Barry Shop. I am Georgia, and I think I just started this live stream and then it stopped. So I don't know what I did wrong. I tried to flip the camera. Uh, my bad, but I was trying to show you. This amazing vacuum, this is the Derma cordless vacuum. It's sleek, she's so pretty. I just put on the attachment piece here and I will show you with the larger piece again in a second. 
Um, but I just wanted to show you what she could do. And I screwed it up because I tried to flip the camera. And I guess that's not what one does here. Um, is there a way to? No. Okay. Well, I'll just show you. So, for instance, this um, is like a trouble spot for me. These like moldings here. So what I like to use this brush for, because it's soft, is I will just use that to get this area. And as you can see, it just slurps that stuff right up. I have dirt on the wall. That's also like a nice thing because we had a plant there, but it just slurps it all up, which is great. You can even hear it rattling inside. And so I like to use this little brush for these like sensitive areas on the wall um, so that I don't like, you know, cause like scruff it. I, I hate it when there's like little black marks all over the wall. So I try to be careful and that's why I use this little brush guy. Um, so I don't, again, I don't really know what happened to this video. So I'm just gonna um, try and go over some things again the packaging that this came in was great i try and do all recyclable packaging when i'm buying something if if i can so if i know that something's gonna come in a nasty nasty box i'll just go to the store but very shop from my experience has been fantastic with all their packaging it's usually all cardboard or paper easily recyclable lightweight stuff great so this came in like a sleek box predominantly cardboard all recyclable I loved that aspect of it. Um, oh, okay, great. We've got someone just joined on here. Hello. Um, so I was just going over the, the like smaller nozzle part of this vacuum and how I like to use it a lot if I'm going around like getting little corners on my wall or even that like crown, I guess it's crown moldings up top, but the molding that's on the bottom of the wall, it's great. You might not even know you have dust there, but that stuff drives me crazy. And um, I can always tell I grew up with an OCD mom. And so this tool is amazing because it won't scruff the wall and it will just easily suck it up with the little bristles. Um, so that's the smaller part of it. And the larger part is here and it clicks in super simply. And like I was explaining the, before, but I will go over again now. Um, when, she, when you receive the vacuum, I always believe in charging things like all the way. Don't go, don't, don't work off of it with just a little bit of charge, although you can. But I think most um, technology devices are better when you get, let it get the full charge and then use it because then the machine is trained to like work at that um, level of or to charge properly, you know what I mean? Um, and again, maybe that's a superstition of mine, but I, I have found that it really helps. So charge it all the way. And once it's done, operating this is super simple. It's, it's like a three tap system, right? So you do one longer one to turn it on and it powers up. My boyfriend was joking the other day that it's like the Tesla of vacuums because it's like, got this very kind of quiet electric like you anyway then so this is setting one and this is great if you just have like a little bit of dust on the floor or maybe you were cooking and you got like scraps of garlic everywhere it will suck that stuff up easy peasy then let's say you've got a carpeted area um maybe your doormat maybe next to your bed the shower mat even i like to use the second setting which has a bit more suction and for that, you just lightly tap this again, and you can hear it. It kind of like revved up a little bit, um, and it actually just turned off because just I forgot to charge it all the way for this session. But while we're talking about charging, I want to show you guys how this charges because it's super, super simple. Um, typically, I keep the charging station in my closet, which I think is super easy. Then I don't have to look at anything. Um, I, I keep a ship shape home, you know, but anyway, so this charging situation is super simple. It actually looks just like 
the charger that is used for um, Apple products, um, like the new laptops and whatnot. Um, so it's got, this came with the device. It did not come with the cube, but we all have spare cubes around, right? So it just plugs right into the wall and then it plugs in here on top. Pardon my lack of manicure. And um, you will see the lights light up. And once all of the lights are done, then that means you have a full charge. So it'll be flashing like this for a little bit. Um, charging typically has taken me like 30 minutes. I mean, it's such a lightweight device that I feel like um, that's one of its benefits that, yeah, you got to charge it. But um, it's better than having to run around the house with something plugged into the wall and you knock over the lamp and then your boyfriend's like, what was that? And you're like, nothing. I'm just angrily vacuuming. This is like heavenly vacuuming because you don't have to deal with the cord. You just got to not be a dingus like me and remember to charge it before you do a live stream video. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm obsessed with this vacuum. It's totally changed my life. Like I was saying earlier, um, we were prior to owning this, we were using one of those, um, little vacuums that like travels around the floor and that was great, but it, it can't get the corners. It can't get the walls and, um, it kept eating our cords. So we were like, bye, we're done with you. And now we've got the Derma cordless and it's phenomenal. Um, I, uh, grew up always, um, I grew, I, I grew up with a lot of chores, so I would say that I have a very good understanding of vacuuming and, and what vacuums are good and what are not. And my mom, you know, she, she had like a, a Dyson vacuum on every floor, which A, that's a little excessive, okay? B, so expensive. So another thing that I love about this vacuum is that I genuinely feel growing up, chores every day, vacuuming at the wazoo, that this vacuum is such quality, so chill to use because of the cordlessness, but also at a much better price point. I mean, Dyson vacuums are so expensive. We don't even need to talk about them, but I'm just saying for the price point is incredible. The results are insanely satisfying. Um, I actually had a friend come over the other night and just asked if she could play with my vacuum. Um, normally, I'd find that a little weird. In this case, I was like, hell yeah, girl, let's go. Um, so we had a uh, wine and um, vacuumed the house. Great. Honestly, if more friends want to come over and vacuum my house, I am all for it. Um, so the, the title of my a live stream today was how to deal with dust, more dust, and bloating. Um, so we talked about the derma vacuum and how it's fantastic and it's cordless glory and how it picks up all of the dust that LA provides. Can't leave a window open here, folks. Drives me crazy. Anyway, um, the other thing that I have discovered recently, which I am equally obsessed with, are these slippers because no matter how much I clean the floor, how fabulous the new vacuum is, I have really porous feet and um, they get, they are black by the time I go to bed. Drives me uh, crazy. I think I've been repeating that a lot, but these are things that drive me crazy and this is how I am dealing with that. So now maybe you have the same problems. Um, I have super poor feet. My boyfriend, Colombian, doesn't have that issue. Somehow his feet are always smooth like a baby. But those of us with poor feet will know we like they collect dust, they absorb. So I've been looking for the perfect slipper for so long, but they're always like bulky or have sheepskin, and then your feet sweat in them, and it's like really gross because now you're once your foot is clean, you're like putting it in like the sweaty sheepskin. Um, so I want to present.